What's going on guys, Octavion here playing Kingdom Hearts Union Cross, we're on the JP version and uh, just wanted to break down the new update we got, it's the weekly reset, so just going to go through everything here. Not a whole lot this week, but I'm sure we'll be getting some more stuff, including hopefully a high score challenge later in the week. Uh, so let's go with the first update we got. We have some new avatar boards. Uh, I like the falling leaves, that's pretty cool. Um, as far as the outfits, I'm not, not too big of a fan of them. Uh, but essentially, the skills that we're going to get with these are going to be um, Gauge Class 0, XL 100%, which is decent. Um, XL 2, 100%, which is pretty nice. And then um, we're getting the Triple Threat, so we're at Poisons, Sleeps, and uh, paral uh, par Paralyzes uh, at the same time, even when you're using a special attack. And it's EX2, so I'm, I'm guessing that probably just has a higher chance of hitting. Uh, I honestly am not 100% sure on that. Um, either way, it's I still don't feel like those are things that are affecting high-level gameplay at all because they only work up to a certain level. And when you're needing that type of stuff in Colosseum, when you are high-level, it's just not going to help you because it won't affect stuff that strong. So, uh, But we do have, you know, the they got pet level up to 7 and uh, we do have like increased uh, versions of all those, the sleep poison and paralysis. So that's probably why they're they're coming out with that. Um, I don't think I'm going to pull on these boards. I might get one of them, but definitely not going to get two of them. I'm going to wait for a board that has the XL2 plus Lux 100% um, or, or more just XL2 100%. It's more than just one of them. Especially one of them that doesn't have gauge cost or anything. So there will be better boards, but I may buy one of these just because I'm not pulling on this banner so I can afford to spend a little bit of jewels. And then the next thing we're getting here. Um, so with VIP, this is kind of a, a new thing. And we're getting a quest where we can get all the SP um, days characters. So, you know, Roxas, Xion and axel and you get their five star and their six star versions i've ran the quest a few times basically you get one per run so uh this is nice because you can pretty much guarantee guilt and get any trait you want on any of these guys just gonna you know matters on how much time you want to put into it but, uh you need to do the quest at least at least 21 times to get all of them that's if you were lucky and got exactly seven of each um more realistically you're probably gonna have to do it about 40 or 50 times and, um, you know, that way you can get uh, quite a few trait rolls and stuff like that. So you can get the traits you want, get some re-rolls on the guilt and everything. So that's nice that we're getting guaranteed, you know, three guilted medals, but they're also not very good medals. You know, nothing fantastic by any means, but still pretty cool nonetheless. Uh, so that's what we're getting with VIP. Uh, we have the new Power Gem quest. This one's going to be with the Olympia um so i'm actually gonna run that at the end of this video i haven't done it yet but i am gonna run it um without Kyrie ex for people that don't have her and then we're getting a new union cross where we're getting super difficult bosses with a big lux boost we got something similar to this shortly after pets came out so uh if we if it's like that that'll be nice the um, element of the boss changes on the day of the week here um so I'm looking forward to that. Last time they did it, you got a lot of Lux for doing it. A ton of Lux. So I'm looking forward to that. That'll be nice to help get my level up. And um, nothing else too special. I am going to do um, for you guys the Mickey pull for the day. Hope you guys have been remembering to do that. I got Mickey and Minnie with like the hearts yesterday. Alright, another new one. I'll take it. I'm really hoping to get key art. Preferably the power key art, just because that's my best one. And I would love to get some better traits on it. Um, yeah, I'm not going to be any dude. I don't, I'm, I'm not pulling from this banner unless, it, unless there's a high score challenge with a good medal. Then I'll pull from it. I definitely have the jewels for the mercy. Um, but I, I am trying to be conservative, and I just really don't need either of those medals. I don't see them helping me in the long run, at least not of, as of right now. So, um, yeah, and I think that's pretty much everything. Uh, I'm going to hop right into the um, Power Gem Challenge. I haven't done it yet, so we'll see how it goes. And then that'll be it. 
it is nice the end of the week so we get our if you manage to get the weekly lux rewards uh i personally did manage to get into the top thousand um i went really hard the first week or the first half of the week and then the second half of the week i pretty much stopped trying and thankfully i held top thousand um so that was nice all right that wasn't intended but I wish that animation didn't take so long, especially when you're doing quests where you gotta complete them really quickly. I've had to straight up down level my pet so that that didn't happen. Hold up, hold up. All right, that guy could cause some problems. Uh, all right, so I'm not gonna do my third buff on him. And then this guy doesn't affect counters. And then this is copying no counters. So if you don't have a Kyrie EX, you might need to resort and either single target buffers or um like tune metals or like my gula or any of the um the foretellers um that don't affect the counter because that guy will make it to where it'll be very difficult to beat those enemies if you let him get his buff on uh these guys don't really need to worry about <laughs> For those of you with the 0.2 Kyrie, which is probably everybody, uh, you're going to have a lot easier chance with this than me. I still haven't managed to pull one. So, all right, we're at the target. Um, all right, nothing really we need to worry about. This guy might kill us, but we can revive if so. So no worries. Yep. Okay, so I'm not going to do that. Right. I don't have anything healing me, which kind of stinks. Alright guys, so I had to alternate my strategy a little bit. Uh, I needed a single target strength buffer. If you have 0.2 Kyrie, you're in a way better position not, but I, than, uh, than I am, but I don't. So uh, I'm busting out Winnie the Pooh, and uh, we'll see if he can get the job done for us. I don't know why I hit that. There we go. Alright, let's see if Winnie the Pooh can do it.
All right, so far so good. All right, Let's see if I do it. Make sure to put all my buffers on this guy. <clears throat> and that should be good. There we go. Yeah, just got to be careful with that boss, not to let him attack, because he will mess you up. <laughs> if you have a 0 0.2 Kyrie, it's not as big of a deal if you die, though, especially if you have second chance on your pet. Um, but for me, not having Kyrie X or 0 0.2 Kyrie, a little bit more of a struggle. There we go, guys. That's pretty much everything. Uh, stay tuned. I'm sure we're going to be getting some new events coming up very shortly, so I'll have all the news for that. Definitely subscribe if you enjoyed it and haven't already, and like the video if this was helpful at all for you. Hope you guys have an awesome weekend. See ya. Bye.